We're here at Venture Out Nursery today. It's cloudy, it's the second day of spring, but it's warming up a little bit. We're gonna talk about deer resistant plants today. So if you're a gardener on Woodby Island, you probably have deer around unless you've got a big fence. I'm gonna show you a few plants that you can get away with that I promise you they will not eat. The first today we're gonna to talk about is Pieris japonica. This is a plant that's blooming right now all over Woodby Island. It's fragrant, which is really nice. So this new one is called Katsura, and the new growth is so bright, it will make your head spin. It blooms a really long time. It's evergreen, needs a little water to get going, but once they get going, they're quite tough. So the second plant we're doing today is a native plant that you find all over Woodby Island. This is evergreen huckleberry. You'll see it under the large scale conifers. It's a very easy evergreen shrub to grow. Has little urn like pretty flowers. Then it gets a little blueberry that the birds love. So if you wanna feed the wildlife, the deer will also eat the berries, although they don't eat the foliage. Beautiful native plant. This is called Pacific Wax Myrtle. It is native to parts of Washington and is an excellent evergreen screen plant. It has small green insignificant flowers, but it produces a black fruit that looks like a peppercorn and the birds love them. It has beautiful uh, foliage. It's evergreen and quite hardy, an excellent native plant for our landscapes. Here's a Deodar cedar. This is usually a tree, but there are new ones out that grow like ground covers. This one is appropriately named Feeling Blue, and it is a beautiful blue, small, ground cover-like conifer that just spreads out sideways. They're tough as nails. Once you get them going, they require little, if any, care. This is a real easy going conifer called Feeling Blue. This is called Mexican Orange. This is a personal favorite of mine for the broadleaf evergreens. The flowers are white and extremely fragrant. They bloom in May and they look like the flowers off an orange tree, but they're slightly scented, more spicy scented, so therefore they call it Mexican Orange. So this is a hardy evergreen shrub, easy to grow, and the deer leave it alone. For those of you who like roadies, as do I, this is a locally developed rhododendron by a gentleman, I think we all know who he is, it's uh, Frank Fujioka. He is a wonderful breeder of rhododendrons. This one is called Seaview Sunset, which is probably his most famous. He really enjoys compact foliage plants, but his flowers are beautiful as well. This one has peachy, reddish, uh, apricot toned flower buds, and they open up into orangey yellow tones, fade into a yellow. So it goes through a wide range of color variations. It's one of my favorite rhododendrons. This is an excellent rhododendron from a local breeder. So the last one we're gonna talk about today is another native plant. This is a deciduous plant. It's actually our native elderberry, but it's a new one that has lacy yellow foliage. So it's brand new, it's called lemony lace. So it takes our native shrub and makes it, the, the leaves are lacy like a lace leaf Japanese maple and they're bright golden yellow. You have got to see the foliage on this thing. If you like, the color yellow and lacy foliage, this is a must have. Of course, it's gonna be drought tolerant because it's native and it feeds the birds and wildlife. So uh, this is kind of as good as it gets. This is the first cultivar of our native, what they call West, Western elderberry. These are uh, a group of good Woodby Island plants that do well in our landscapes. I think everybody on Woodby has experienced a plant or two being eaten to the nub and it can be very frustrating. Um, these are a group of plants that don't have that problem. And there certainly are more uh, plants out there, so if you have questions, come and see me at Venture Out Nursery.